Okay, here we have a question that says, which relationship can be described as causal? That means that, of course, causal, referring to the word cause, this means which of the relationships here imply that one of the things causes the other, right? That's what a causal relationship is. So in the first case, does height cause your intelligence, or does intelligence cause your height? In other words, does it mean that the taller you are, the smarter you are? And the smarter you are, the taller you are? Well, the answer, of course, is no. Next, we have um, shoe size and running speed. Well, here, I mean, if you have a really, 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 really large foot, does that mean you can run really fast? Absolutely not. And vice versa, if you have a really, really small foot, does that mean you run slow? No, of course not. So that doesn't matter. Um, number of correct answers on a test and your test score. Yes, that should be causal, right? The more answers you get correct, the higher your score, or the the lower your uh, the lower amount of answers you get correct, or the less amount of answers you get you get correct, you have a lower test score. So that, that's a causal relationship. But let's look at number four: number of students in a class and number of students with brown hair. Well, that there might be a correlation there. There might be a lot of students in your class, and they all might have brown hair. However. Just having students in your class doesn't mean that they will automatically have brown hair.